It was a heated meeting last night as the Kern High School District Board of Trustees approved the suitability of land in Southeast Bakersfield. In other words, another high school is coming to town, leaving parents from Lamont feeling neglected. 17's Lori Lizarraga has the story. Kern County is constantly growing. The district has 18 comprehensive high schools, 15 of which are in Bakersfield. But residents in outlying communities like Lamont, Weed Patch, and Hilltop say they've been asking for a new high school closer to home for years. And they're not happy that Bakersfield is getting another one while they continue to go without. For residents of Lamont, a question of whether their children matter to the Kern High School District. Here we're talking about 100 degrees, and I really, you know, would like for them to consider that that the children of the miss a bus, they have to walk in 100 degree weather. For the district's board of trustees, a matter of where data shows overcrowding is or will be by 2022. They've looked at it and determined that this is the most effective area to build a school and to utilize that taxpayer funding to relieve that overcrowding. Monday night, the board voted on 77 acres of property at the northeast corner of Cottonwood Road in East Panama Lane. In terms of priority and overcrowding and where the next school has to go, it, the next school can't be in Lamont. The land received three yeses, one no, and one abstention, moving the process forward for a new high school in southeast Bakersfield by 2022. The community of Lamont has been asking for a high school since 2006. Students who attend Arvin High School come from all over Kern County. Last school year, some 1,400 students were bused from the Lamont and Weed Patch communities to Arvin High. In fact, the Arvin High buses make 70 stops every morning to pick up students, which is more bus stops than any other high school in the district. It's not a walking distance, so I'm really worried about that. They say they need a new high school in their community. As trustees, why haven't they been listening to this community? The second we have data that points to Lamont as being the best area to build a high school, I'm going to be the first person trying to champion that. But as of right now, the data does not suggest that that's the best area for high school. You can't make everybody happy all the time. The board is planning to continue the conversation with residents in Lamont at a community meeting in September. The board also says they're willing to begin at least scouting land in Lamont for potential school sites in the future. In studio, I'm Lori Lizarraga for 17 News.